God damn it, don't you laugh at me. Get my money back. Yes, you are. You get quicker. Me. It goes to your debit card directly. It won't let us. Yeah, and it's already out of my account, and I can show you that you've already taken my money. So you need to give me my cash. And if I end up on YouTube, I will personally sue your ass. I'm just talking money. Get put it back to give me my Thing I'm not laughing, ma'am. Yes, you are. You want me to show you on my phone that you are? Please. That you are what? Laughing. If we end up on YouTube, I will see you. I'm not putting it on YouTube. No, I'm talking. If it ends up on oh, Facebook, gonna end up? Facebook, it will not go to Facebook. Facebook. I will see you. All right. That is perfectly fine. Yeah, because you can't record if you don't want to be recorded. No. And let me tell you, my attorney, I love you. Uh, quite interesting because there are, are a few variables here, right? Number one, it's a policy. It's a policy everywhere. I have never known a place to take a debit card charge and then give me cash money back on the return. They put it back on the card, right? So I don't know if they've never returned an item or what, but this is standard procedure. Now, the extreme actions of this entire group was setting a bad example for the next generation. You had two children there. We blurred out their faces on Indisputable because we're decent. The children are being taught, this is how you solve conflict. This is how you state your claim. It's a never ending cycle. Central Chevrolet service this autumn. Autumn, I didn't ask for a female. I would like to talk to a male. My opinion is females don't belong in the service department. They belong behind the scenes doing the paperwork. <laughs> um, okay. Um, there, there's not a male in our service department. Uh, then you can let me talk to my Ashford or somebody. Okay, hang on one second. I'll get you over to my Ashford. Chevrolet service this autumn. Autumn, I need to make an appointment for Saturday morning, 8 o'clock. I just hope there are no females on the desk when I get there. There will be some. There's no males in our service department, ma'am. So, unfortunately. Oh, my God. That is totally messed up. All right, I need my oil changed, but there better be a male mechanic that I can talk to. If there is a male in the shop to change my oil... That will be fine. I do not want a female working on my car. And I'll tell you why. The last time I had it after to have something done, it was a five-minute job. I sat there a freaking hour. And I had to go track down a male to get my car. It just, it's so disappointing because there are a lot of women out there who are just like this. They happen to yep. think that other women are incompetent in some way or that women as a gender. And it's just so interesting to me because nobody, you know, approaches what like a lion and it's like, oh, you know, I don't, I don't care about this lion. No big deal because it's a female lion. It's like <laughs> only right. humans do that. You know, it's just, it's really pathetic. And there's no way in hell I would have entertained it in the workplace because, hey, that's just gender discrimination. So that's why I would have told that woman and say, you know what, you need to take your business elsewhere because we don't discriminate in my establishment. Bye. Call the cops. Oh, I hope they do. Hey, do you guys support the satanic pride propaganda? I, I yeah, both. You support it? Satan you say, and pride. You support Satan? Mm -hmm. What's God gonna think of that? I don't believe in God. Wow. Don't, so you Did think- Did you need help with something? You support the propaganda that's targeting the kids? Uh, there's nothing targeting kids. All It's all over kids TV shows. It's all over. They're targeting kids. Kids can choose to wear whatever they want. Do you support the sexualization of kids through pride propaganda by sir, corporate? Is there something that we can help you with? I'm just asking people questions. What about you, sir? Do you, do you support I'm not this? Any questions? But if you're here to cause any disturbance in the store, I'm just asking questions. Do you work, yeah, do you work for the target? Yeah, but you're disrupting. Do you work yes, for target? I do actually. Where's your name tag? I I am the undercover loss prevention. Oh, okay. So. I'm just asking questions. So, do you support the satanic propaganda? I'm not like answering your questions. Ignore him. Ignore, uh -huh. ignore him. Uh -huh. Yeah. Do you support Stop. it or no? Oh, get out of here. Yeah. Asking questions. Are you going to purchase that or not? Hey, sir, do you support this propaganda? I need you to stop. Huh? Hello. I need you to stop. He ends up throwing the shirt on the ground, stepping on it, continuing to harass customers. Here's what I don't understand. I don't understand this. You don't have to agree with everything in this world, in this life, you don't have to agree with it. But just understand that 
because you don't agree with it doesn't mean that someone else has to do it your way, okay? This is supposed to be the land of freedom, act like it.